Hey, Scorpio Risers, it's the birthday coach saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success in your coaching business. This video is for the Scorpio Risers uh, that are life coaches, whether you're an astrologer, tarot reader, maybe you're doing something in a holistic field, but your business, you're the owner, you're the entrepreneur, you're the nonprofit, you're the person that's guiding other people, you're giving a service to other people that requires customers, that requires clientele. And why it takes Scorpio Rises longer to be successful in business. And I want you to be successful in business. If you've been listening to my astrologies for the last several years, I believe Scorpio Risers are more fit to own their own business. Don't believe it's easier. In fact, owning a business is not easy. It takes a lot of work, but the rewards are a lot, you know, the rewards are a lot greater. I was, what, in Florida last month? I was on a month vacation away from my home, still working, still coaching, still guiding, still doing readings. And I was able to do that. Why? Because of you, Scorpio Rises, because of the following that I built up on YouTube. But wouldn't have been able to do that just a few years ago uh, if I wouldn't have been able to because of, you know, the finances. But the finances grow with a couple of the secrets that I'm about to give you. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Why why is it hard if you're a Scorpio riser to to really build your online business, your um, coaching business? Well, all Scorpio risers in the whole house system have Capricorn ruling that third house. Now, if you're a coach, if you're your unique customers, if your clientele dependent upon a clientele in the 21st century, then most likely you're going to have to use the internet. You're going to have to use social media to be able to get your message out there, get your brand out there, get your services out there. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how psychic, how intuitive, how healing, how great you are in counseling. You know, all these things that Scorpio Risers are naturally gifted to guide other people. Doesn't matter if you're Jesus Christ in the flesh, Buddha or Mahama. If people don't know who you are, they're not going to hear your message. They got to see you, hear you. They got to know where you're at. And why is this hard? Because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn, what? It's restriction. It holds back. It slows things down. It really wants to do things more slow and steady. It's in the third house of what? Communications. If you're going to be a life coach, if you're going to be any type of, uh, of, of teacher, speaker, any type of person, that's got to get a message out there. Third house rules, you know, online, like the 11th, it rules doing, you know, Gemini, sharing information, getting information out there so people know who you are. But Saturn holds you back. That Capricorn holds you back sometimes. And, and be like, because you want to make sure that what you're saying, Saturn is what? It's expert. It's mature. It's right. I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and you can't misunderstand me because I, what, cross all the T's and dot all the I's. That's what Capricorn in the third is, right? It's serious, serious talk. We're talking about serious things, you know, emotional healing, sexual healing. Maybe we're talking about how to increase your finances. We're talking, you know, even if it's in a funny manner when I do my Scorpio snacks, I'm still talking about serious subjects, life, life purpose. So there's a seriousness in our communication with that third house, but third house typically ruled by Gemini. It wants to be, you know, quick. It wants to be flighty. It wants to be happy. And so for all Scorpio risers, our third house isn't the most comfortable place. And why it makes it hard for business is because a lot of times where you should be sharing information more, you should be online more, you should be doing more, you know, TikToks and YouTubes and all these things because third house rules that online, short online communication. Well, what are you doing? You're holding yourself back from it, especially it's hard for Scorpio risers in any type of business. Because they don't like the public, uh, you know, the public display, the public, you know, all eyes on them. Now, I like all eyes on me. You know, I got a Venus in Leo. I, I, you know, so I'm not saying all Scorpio risers have, you know, don't like to be, you know, a lot of you are actors. But what, what I'm meaning, though, is there is a secret side. We like to be felt. I want you to feel my power. I want you to feel my energy. I don't necessarily want to be seen. 
to be seen. I can be on stage. Actors can be seen all day, but that doesn't mean they're truly being vulnerable to be seen in their soul. There's a protection layer there. And so where a lot of Scorpio risers hurt themselves uh, in business is, uh, you know, they're, they're not getting comfortable being seen, especially you got the Pluto. I get a lot of people with Pluto in the first house that have a lot of skills in, in doing a lot of work to, to make this world a better place but they're having trouble getting clients, they're having trouble connecting because they don't feel comfortable. You got a lot, if your natal chart's got most of your planets on the bottom half of that circle, you're, you're more intuitive. You're more wanting to be you know, behind the scenes. But if you're gonna have to be a coach, a speaker, anything that deals with people, you, you're gonna have to be out there. You're gonna have to be seen. They're not gonna just wanna look at a website. I, I, I do business coaching all the time. You know, Almost the day of websites are over. Get that calendar. Get get something where people can, if you're coaching right now and you're like, okay, DM me for more information because maybe you're just doing this part time, you got to stop that. You got to stop trying to get people to talk to you and then tell them about your money. Get the money right out there. Get it out there. Click on it. You want to go to, you know, look at my, uh, look in the, in, down below. You can click. I'm going to put it on there. Click the calendar link and you can schedule right off the bat an hour or half an hour reading with me. Or you can do like some people have already done and take my mentorship course. You know, I got, uh, I teach astrology for those that want to use it in their practice. I got hypnosis that take my astrology classes. I got Reiki people that take my, why would they do it? Because they want to use the information of astrology to help their customers. It's another avenue. It's another layer to their holistic business. And so uh, I do, usually my classes are 12 weeks long and they're one-on-one. -on -one. That's the difference. I'm not giving you some long, uh, uh, workbook that everyone else is using. I'm tailoring it to your needs. We meet one, one day a week, an hour a day for 12 weeks, just for that first, uh, first layer. There's three layers. I teach you the whole thing, but you might just want one section, skip a while, come back and do another section. That's up to you. If you're interested in that, you know, check the bio below. But the point that I'm trying to make right now is I've said over and over and over again, uh, is, you are going to have to find a way to get yourself out there publicly for those that are private Scorpios if you're trying to build any type of coaching business, any type of service-oriented business. Now, yes, you can live off a of word of mouth if you're real good. I lived off a of word of mouth for a long time. Never even did any stuff because the word of mouth was great. But I also had a simple lifestyle. I wasn't wanting a ton of stuff. You know, when you want more things and you got to get more clients, that means you got to be more visible. So what's the answer? The answer is instead of that natural tendency to hold you back, that Capricorn in the third, that's, you know, instead of doing that, make communication. Saturn or Capricorn loves routine. It loves rituals. Put yourself on a routine. Every Tuesday, I'm going to do a top, you know, I'm going to do astrology video. Every Thursday, I'm going to do a holistic video, you know. And even if you're not into any of this stuff, maybe you just got a, a, a business being a plumber. Well, still, you should be putting your information out there, right? You should be doing something communication-wise. Saturn wants serious. It's in your third house. You need to be serious about your communication. It doesn't have to be long. Third house is short trips, but it's quick things. It's just, a, no, Saturn wants it consistently. So even if it was just a 30-second, you know, video, or even if it's just a, a weekly little newsletter or a little blurb on Facebook. If you're out there trying to be in your own business, you're not naturally, if you're a Scorpio riser, naturally you're gonna sabotage many times back and forth, back and forth on the consistency of putting your information out there. You're just going to have to make yourself do it, stick with it, no matter how uncomfortable. You know, I mean, no matter where you're like, because your instinct's gonna be, you know what, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And that's self-sabotage because you're like, that, you know, that Saturn and, the, you know, Capricorn and third, I want it perfect. The world don't look for perfect. Most people that build their business is not that, oh, they got that viral. They got that viral. No, 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 no. You may get a viral. Most times people don't even know when a viral video is going to happen. They just did a lot of it and bam, the law of numbers. It's the same thing. You don't need to have a hundred great things every day about your topic, but you need the compound effect, the consistent drip. And so uh, put in the comments below. You know, you know, put in the comments below what kind of coaching business life business are you doing? And then also, like I said, if you're interested in also maybe getting some mentorship 
in astrology or even in business coaching, click the Calendly link and we'll set up a meeting. Have a good day.